Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Megan, just in case you don't know me already, and I'm back. You did hear that right. I am back with a really exciting video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of my current favourite drugstore makeup. This is the kind of video that you enjoy. Make sure you stick around, hit subscribe, hit the like button, and let's just get into the video. I have already done my eyebrows off camera and carved them out. The brow combination that I've been loving at the minute is the e.l.f. instant brow lift pencil. So you get a spoolie on one end and then you get the pencil on the other end. I would love this even more if it was just a little bit thinner. And then I like to go in with a brow gel, sometimes I prefer clear, sometimes I prefer tinted. Honestly it depends if I put my eyebrows or not. So I like to go for my clear one if my brows aren't so good and then if I've put them then I normally go for a tinted one. But the one I've got on today is the XX Revolution Clear Brow Gel. I know mine doesn't look very clear, it looks really really minging but I've been really really enjoying this and I feel like my eyebrows stay in place all day with this. I love primers. Anybody that knows me, I have quite a few primers in my collection. So I do have three favourites at the minute. One that I've been loving is the MUA Pro Base. This is the moisturising primer. It's got like vitamin E and vitamin A in it um, and tea tree oil as well. It does smell like tea tree oil so if you don't like the smell of tea tree oil then you probably won't like this. You can see just how much I love this primer so good and my next favourite is the NYX Marshmallow Primer it's just amazing it's just so smoothing and hydrating today I think I will use the NYX Marshmallow Primer it does smell like marshmallow so if you don't like that smell mm, probably won't go for this primer and then I always go in with a pore filling primer or a mattifying primer and I've been loving the e.l.f. poreless putty primer. I just think it just makes your makeup stay on all day. Like I have trouble with my makeup breaking up around here and it comes off and sometimes around my mouth but when I put this on it stays in place. That's why I always use a pore filling or mattifying primer as well as a hydrating primer. Moving on to foundation, there are two that I've absolutely been loving. The Rimmel Lasting Finish, which has been a favourite of mine for so long, like so many years. I've been through so many of these. I think it performs better than like some of my high-end foundations. Another one that I've been absolutely loving as well is the Revolution Conceal and Glow Foundation. This is like my second bottle and I do have a backup of it as well. It's just really good, it has good coverage and it's still like a little bit glowy and natural. But today I think I'm just going to mix them. I have F1 in the Conceal and Glow and 103 True Ivory in Last and Finish. may have put too much on but I'm going to blend it out with a brush. I love blending foundations out with a brush. So I'm going to use the PCO2 Peaches and Cream brush. Quite difficult to clean but I just feel like it buffs in my foundation just so nice. Once I've used the brush I just like to take a beauty sponge and just tap over it let all the product like really sink in. So for concealer I've been loving my e.l.f. hydrating camo concealer and I've also been loving the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite. The Infinite one I just find it provides so much more coverage and hydrating. Hydrating. It's very hydrating. I'm just going to blend that in with my sponge again. So at this stage I'd normally go in with cream contour or cream bronzer. I absolutely love cream contour and cream bronzer but all the ones that I've been loving recently are high-end so 
I've included them in this video so I'm just gonna go straight into a liquid blush and one that I've been loving from the drugstore is the Makeup Revolution Super Dewy Liquid Blusher. This one is in the shade Fake the Flush and it, this colour is it's not for everyone but I love this colour. There are other colours that you can get if you don't want something like so bright. It does blend out though. I'll start off with this amount and then I always use my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. It's just one of my favourite brushes to blend in cream products. Moving on to powder, my absolute favourite powder at the minute is this one from Primark, it's just so good. This is the PS Blurred Out Skin Conditioning Primer. This is what it looks like, it's £3.50, it's cruelty free, vegan and you do only get a small amount but I do only use it under my eyes. This is like the best thing that I've found for underneath my eyes. Like nothing sets my under eyes like this powder does this powder is just like so fine and i just think it's perfect for your eyes under your eyes it just really sets my makeup without making my under eyes look like really gross and crusty so for powder for setting the rest of my face going back to loving these two if i'm not using a high-end powder then i use one of these, these are the I Heart Revolution Coconut Powder and Peach Powder. They do do some other shades as well, but these two work really nice for me. So I'm going to take the coconut one first. These are like £5 and they're just so good. You literally get so much product for your money as well. So I'm just taking the coconut one. I don't bake with them, they are baking powders, but I don't tend to bake. Just kind of use the coconut one to kind of sculpt a little bit. But I don't like baking because my skin is pretty dry. Now I'm going to take some of the peach powder. And I'm just going to set myself, set myself, set the rest of my base. For bronzer, I've actually been loving a few recently. My BH Cosmetics Belgium Waffle Palette. I love this palette. I have hit pan on this lightest shade here, but I tend to just mix quite a bit of this and a little bit of this, and I just love it. And I also really, really like this highlighter here. I can also use this bronzer as well, but I normally just stick to these two, but this palette is stunning. I'll just swatch this highlighter, like why not? I just can't help myself, it's just stunning. And it does work on my skin. Like it just, ugh, I don't know, it just blends out really, really nice. That's what it looks like. It's just beautiful. So nice. I've also been loving my Beauty Bay one in the shade Donut. And this is what the shade looks like. I prefer this to the lighter one in the shade Fawn just because this is a little bit more cool tone, which is what I like a bit more. And recently I've been going back to my Makeup Revolution one. This is the Bronzer Reloaded in the shade Holiday Romance. And when it's a little bit warmer and the weather's like a little bit nicer, this is the bronzer that I've been reaching for kind of looks like a highlighter <laughs> when I swatch it but it doesn't look like that on the face oh I just don't know which one to use today I feel like I'm always 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 using this one so I'll use the I'll use these then I'm gonna start off with the Beauty Bay bronzer shade donut and I'll just take a, a little bit of the Makeup Revolution one. Just gives like a really nice glow and they do have it in different shades as well. So does BH count as drugstore? I don't know, I kind of feel like it's affordable but then you can't get it in the drugstore and I don't know, it's one of those where it's sort of in between high-end and in between drugstore so 
I don't know. I've put it in. I'll put it in the drugstore video now. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. Is BH Cosmetics drugstore or high end? I don't know. Um, I really don't feel like I need blush. But part of me just wants to use a powder blush at the same time. My favourite dr drugstore blushes and some of my favourite blushes are the yeah, Beauty Bay ones. I have four different shades. I have the shade Peachy. This is beautiful. That is a beautiful blusher. I have the shade Blossom. That's really, really pretty. And my favourite, which is the shade Bitten. It looks like an unusual colour, but I just think it looks so nice on my skin. And I just reach for this one all the time. If you do like the shade Bitten, then you'll probably like the shade Bloom as well. If you like a shimmery blush, because this is really, really similar. Just shimmery. So this is the shade Bitten, and this is the shade Bloom. So, super super similar. A classic that I've actually been loving again recently is Milani Luminoso. I just always find that I go back to this blusher. It's just so pretty. Like look at that colour. Beautiful. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on. And I'm just putting a dot on. Not a lot at all. Just so pretty. It's like a really, really nice glow. Definitely have enough blush on. Do not need any more. For highlighter, the two that I've been loving recently is the Colourpop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Flexitarian. Oh, like, look at that. This is stunning. I look at that shine and I also love and I always go back to this it's the wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder in the shade blossom glow and that's what it looks like it's just so pretty it is a pinky kind of highlighter so I don't know if you don't like your pinky highlighters then you might not like this it isn't too bad that's it like all right there and that's Colourpop. I just think it's so pretty on my skin tone. So I'm going to use this one today, the Wet n Wild one. And I'm going to use that on a PC 17. Okay, so moving on to eyeshadow. Um, there's three palettes that I've literally been reaching for so much recently. The W7 Nudification Palette. This is like so affordable and I, part of me doesn't even know why you keep reaching for it, but I do. I reach for it more for the mattes, not the shimmers. Mine has broken, like this shade has broken a bit, so I'm not going to hold it up too much, but this is what the palette looks like. I really, really like the mattes. Um, the shimmers, they're more natural, they're not. Oh. oh, it's super, super impressive. Another palette that I've been loving recently is the Makeup Revolution Forever Flawless Flamboyance Palette. And this palette is just so nice. <laughs> um, I love all of the Forever Flawless palettes. I just think the quality is just so good. And the third palette that I reach for all the time is the Beauty Bay Fiery 2.0 palette. If you know me, you know I'm more of a cool tone kind of girl, but this palette makes me love warm tones. Um, I just love it. Like, look at it. It's absolutely stunning. The shimmers are amazing and the mattes are amazing. I didn't have the original Fiery palette, so I don't know what that was like, but I can confirm that this is amazing. It's really, really nice. Um, I just can't, I can't recommend it enough. I pick it up like all the time. Like you can see how dipped in some of these shades are. They're just really, really nice. So I think, uh, I think I am going to go in with this palette today, you know, 
So just prime my eyes. I've used the Makeup Revolution Ultimate Eye Base in the shade Light. And I think I'm just going to do something really, really simple and kind of stick to like the top two rows. And I think I'm going to take the shade Brunette to start off with. And I'm just going to run that through my crease. And I'm going to take that on a Morphe M506 brush. Next I'm going to take this shade here called Beagle and I'm just going to run that through my crease as well, a little bit higher than that first shade. And I'm going to use a Spectrum B11 brush. Now I'm going to deepen things up even further with this shade Acorn on an M506 brush. And I'm just going to take a clean fluffy brush and just blend out the edges I just feel like the shadows just blend so effortless effortlessly effortlessly and for my shimmer I'm gonna take this shade right here called crystal and I'm actually just gonna take it on my finger it's just so pretty this palette is just stunning I love it and for me and I'm gonna take this lightest shade here it is a little bit of a shimmer but I do like that and it's called soft and I'm taking this on the M515 brush which is just perfect for the inner corner I'm just gonna run those same shades on my lower lash line so my eyes are done I really like it it's just a nice simple look I didn't want to do anything too crazy for my first video back but yeah, I kind of like it, you know, I've been liking neutrals at the minute, don't know what's wrong with me, but I have. I'm going to move on to setting spray, I absolutely love setting spray. I just feel like it just melts all your makeup together and I love using it. My three current favourites at the minute is the L'Oreal Shake and Glow. I don't know if you can tell, I've used quite a bit of this considering I have loads of setting sprays love this gives you like a really nice glow and it has a really nice super fine mist another spray that i've been loving is the makeup revolution spray this is from their friends collection and this is the phoebe one it's a brightening fixing spray with hyaluronic acid and vitamin c and this is actually my second bottle um i do really really like this one and the third one that i've been loving absolutely loving is the Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid setting spray this is so nice it has such a nice mister I think I'm gonna use this one today it's just so nice oh, it just gives you like such a nice glow and it's such a nice spray smells really like coconutty as well so love it love it for my mascara i do actually like a lot of drugstore mascaras but the one that i've been really really loving at the minute is the l'oreal lash paradise this is what the wand looks like it is like a little bit thick but it isn't too bad i'm really hoping that that is focusing I have no idea. Um, yeah, the one is a little bit thick, but I do really like my lashes after this, and I would definitely repurchase this. Mascara is done now. Um, I did do it off camera, I just find it a little bit easier, but this is what my eyelashes look like. I have only put one coat on, because I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty late, and I'm just gonna take this makeup off, but you can build it up. And final step is lips. I've been loving lip oils and I've been loving lip tints and glosses. The lip oil that I've been reaching for so much recently, like you can kind of see just how much I've actually been using. But this is the the Beauty Crop Weeshery and it's all rubbed off. But it is the Weeshery lip oil and it is the like tinted one and i think it's cherry i don't know everything has rubbed off this because i literally use it 
so much i did get it in a glossy box but i'll just put this on and just show you i literally wear this all the time for work i just think it's the best it's the best and i would 100 percent repurchase this when i run out just love the little shine that it gives you and i just think it's just perfect for work I really, really want to try some more things from the Beauty Crop because the few things that I have tried, I've absolutely loved them. So, definitely a brand that I want to try more of. Some of my other lip favourites are from Maybelline. So, I absolutely love the Maybelline Superstay Ink ones. And this is in the shade Loyalist. It looks like really, really pale, but it actually works really, really nice. That's what that shade looks like and the lip liner that I've been loving is the Colourpop lip liner and this is in the shade BFF I'll just give that a swatch it's like a like kind of burny kind of colour that's what it looks like and one of my favourite Colourpop lippy pencils is in the shade Oh Snap and that is also like this kind of burning nude I love these I feel like they're so creamy and really really easy to apply and finally two of my favorite glasses are from Beauty Bay this one is in the shade Candy and this one is in the shade Slippers and I just love them both I just think Beauty Bay lip glasses do you know what Beauty Bay makeup is just so good and so affordable and these are what they swatch like so this is the shade slippers and no it's not this is the shade candy and this is the shade slippers and i love them both so i will just wipe a bit of that lip oil off and go in with the color pop pencil in the shade bff and i'm just going to use the maybelline one and then I'll use a little bit of the Beauty Bay Gloss in the shade Slippers. Oh, I do really like the Coloured Pop Glosses as well. I should have put that in here. Because I have been using that one a lot. <laughs> so this is my finished look today using my current drugstore favourites. Let me know down below what's one of your drugstore favourites. I really want to know. I love trying new drugstore makeup. So if you have any recommendations, make sure you let me know what you've been loving recently too. Thank you so much for watching my video. And make sure you hit the like button down below. Stick around, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.